incredibly proficient on. Over to the other side with LGD. Just going to lock in Orn to round out our draft with a Nar versus Orn top lane. Yeah, so, I mean... Because he uh, plays with reverse keyboard and mouse setup. I thought that's where you're going with that. But, uh... <laughs> I could have. Yeah, I, I could have. That would have been, been a good decision. He, <laughs> Knight has actually stopped doing that, by the way. He's uh, no longer oh, crosses right. the arms, unfortunately. He's obviously still left-handed. I don't think that's changeable. Here we go. Knock up. Knock back. And knock everything. Because Colt has his flash available, but no way out. Easy first blood. Colt for the something like the Stride Breaker instead here. Especially now that he's gone to Fleet Footwork, which is definitely more of a, a lane oriented Chance is in big trouble here. He's already so low on HP. And Kars is arriving on the scene as Jakulov finds his first kill of the game. The knock up onto Kramer turns it into a double. I think he should be fine with this one, especially since he's about to turn Mega Nar. He actually could 1v1 the Graves. In goes Dro, gets the knock up onto Kramer, just stands on top of the mountain and, and puts about a million wards. And at least, as we said before we got interrupted, that Koyan got one, got that Rift turn in the face. Ultimate thrown under the tower. They're just trying to force them back. All they want to do is get this terror for themselves. Okay, I see, I see. Available okay. for Knight always makes it dangerous for Zoe to 1v1. Going back to this bottom side, though, big win for LGD getting that they first tower. Kramer immediately up towards the top side of the map. The lane swap comes through. Kasa takes a chunk, but he wants to trade it, and the barrel is beautiful. There's a stopwatch to work out. Joel happy to take a couple of bonus tower shots, oh no! but in comes Quay, and he's got Jackie a big old... has a lot of items right now. Jackie Love is not very afraid of Quay. He's just buying space, though, because Kramer is up on the top side of the map. Knight is going to trade for this tower on the bottom side, so it's still two for two on towers. And I have to say, Dagda, coming into this series, I was expecting this to be very one-sided. When we look at these rosters, when we look at what the expectations they are... They hold their own pretty well against some of our top teams. Now, obviously, you can see Colt has been struggling. It's not the, the most favorable matchup that we already discussed. But certainly, they're no shove. So for LGD, now that they've got their bot lane sorted... Seem to be doing okay, but mid lane. Yeah, uh, this is the problem with Zoe, right? You have no so mobility. going to be okay. Um, it does start to get a little dicey when your big tank ain't that tanky. Cast has been hooked, though, and dashes out of the fight and taken off of the map here. Duo now left out of sorts, and him and Knight are going to pair up on the top side as Jackie Love dashes away through the river. TP channeled from Colton. They want to keep this fight going. That is a trouble bubble and a half, and it spells absolute disaster for top, but maybe not, because Unipoy doesn't quite connect the Paddle Star. And despite this teleport in from Colt, LGT can't actually find an extension on the fight. They're going to go for the blue buff. Quake gets it and gets the lantern out of there. At least they'll find this mid tower. Yeah, LGD needed to turn this into something because you didn't get the TP blown by 369. So he's still chipping away at that inside terror. So yes, you get the, the pick for LGD, but if this top lane turret goes down, I'd nerdy argue that's only most favorable for top esports in just the pressure now that 369 has in the side lane and the TP advantage top esports can use towards this barrier. This is very greedy from 369 now. He's been here a long time. Flashes from the Ram knockup. He wants a 2v1 at this point. 369. That is terrifying. Tools that top esports would like to use to start these fights off aren't quite there. However, it looks like what we talked about earlier is that LGD, they just want to get towards these three. Exactly. They what they, these two are the guys that have to be coordinated in the engages for this composition. The stun comes out, though, and they find themselves the fight. Joel goes in, and this will be an easy kill on to chance for the double for Jackie Love. They've got a ticket to the mid lane. They can go to the Drake. They can go wherever they want as Uniboy is forced away from the play. In fact, why not a Barrett? And this is what I was going to say is, you know, with 369, they can even move over towards this dragon as well. Like, they've got yep. all the time in the world here. And let's just remind everyone at Massive home, Chunk there is Cult is going to start this dragon off. Bear in mind, Kasa is here. He has Smite. Quay is arriving as well, but Kasa, one level up right now, burning through the dragon. They're just going to be able to take this one. Nicely done by LGD, but can they get away with it? Because 369 charging on up, trying to get into this fray, but he's not Mega Nar just yet. Chance going to use the box to try and disengage. Barrett. Even though LGD, like, you've got to give him credit for this. That was straight up daylight robbery, to be honest, to get that Drake. But Kramer, oh, Farmer Kramer, you don't get to just tend your fields at this point in the game. Oh, Knock back on chance as well. Jackie Love gets his 19th oh double of the game, but he wants a little bit more as he grabs the triple Uniboy. Desperate to survive this one. Jumps in, but he's just going to get stunned up and annihilated by Knight. Up towards the top side they go because they are top esports after all. And Dagda, I think this might be game. 
This is definitely game. Just like that. One pick, two pick, three pick, no more for LGD as Top Esports are going to just close it out. A nice one to start off our series. They've picked LGD apart like a kid picks apart a chicken leg at a birthday party. On towards the Nexus Tower as they go. And what a commanding performance from this squad. We said we needed them to step up. They are one and two in the standings, but they want to even that score line up. The Nexus will fall and Top Esports take game one. Definitely LGD looking to utilize that in the at the level six point in time. But we'll have to see if they can get towards that stage. Because honestly, when I look at Koi on this Lilia, that you've got in the Galio here in the mid lane, he'll just run through mid, help you push in those last few creeps. You're not really losing it much as the mid laner. And get on towards the Raptors and set the enemy jungler behind. Oh, Knight flashing forwards, gets the root, looks for the damage. Doesn't quite have enough. One more Q would do the trick, but an E is going to have to Wait. suffice. To force that fight, if Quay wants to try and make a gank happen, and it looks like that is going to be the call here as he charges straight in. Flash for the stun from Colt. And I think 369 realizes there's no way out of this one. He's not even going to try and flash. Dark Harvest acquired. And a kill now that you're starting to get this, uh, this Camille rolling. She can go towards the Triforce if she wants to go for that full split push orientation, which I actually wouldn't mind in this situation. But we have seen when paired with a Galio, they go Divine Sunder and Sterics. Here we go. Fight. They want to answer on the bot side, though. Top Esports diving and good by Kramer. Welcome back to the LPL, mate. I hope you enjoy your stay. Chance is going to just about survive for now, but Kasa, I don't Mercy. think it's going to allow that to happen any longer. Oh, Jackie Love has to flash away Fantastic this season so far, and they do have this kind of rookie squad. As the TP comes on in, and the rookie squad... Uh, might just get taken out here. Joel is pretty much in this until this Rift Tower comes up. So freeze the wave, then get control where you get the slow push out, Look transition over towards that Rift Herald. Carson's like, okay, which one lane isn't winning yet? I'll go gank for it. Colt's going to go down here to the wall. Oh no, one more auto. 369 survives, jumps on top of Uniboy, who's trying to escape. One HP remaining, and Carson chucks out the oh, barrel. Knight nice. got the kill, got a little bit more CS, coming back to bite LGD. Oh she top one, Casa's predator it around and uh, Uniboy's found him. You don't get to just recall it's that like, greed. This guy has so much to offer. However, bot lane. Jakulov has that Featherstorm available. Will use it immediately. Has a route for Quay, but Joel goes down. It's support for support, which 2v3. Out of control. They already have Jakulov and bot and Chance wants to shut him down. Yeah, he does have to use the cleanse. Has flash available, but Joel's coming in, and I think they might just fight this one instead. Root onto Kramer. One or two more autos would finish off the trick. He doesn't have any summoners available. He's knocked up, and Joel's just going to finish the kill himself. He doesn't need an AD carry. In fact, oh, donates it with the Q. That is beautiful to see. Now, Chance trying to escape, but Cast is not going to let him. Explosive cast is Quay knocked back into the ray. Cast against the other one. They finish off everybody. His ability to track the enemy jungler, to set up and counteract these plays, and it nets the kills on bot side. Five kills now for Jackie Love. Gale is going to get to Gale Force at the time that Jackie Love is probably two and a half items. Oh my god. I don't even have time to cast this. The speed no. at which. He does have both summoners <laughs> available. Knight going to be slowed but not stunned here as the CC chain comes in from Chance. That was very nicely played. On to Troll they go. They might just trade supports here. Explosive casket in goes Caster under the tower. And Kramer, you don't have anyone to protect you anymore. Jackie Love slides in and grabs himself that kill. He even uses the feather stall to survive the turret shot. Now the answer on the top side is LGD try and dive onto 369. Going to put him to sleep. Can they finish him off? Stun underneath the tower. The answer is no. It's a one for one. Three. LGD never get a chance to play. They want to play the way that they want. And all that pressure is now on Colt. Like, Colt is the LGD to give them some laps of, well, anything. We do have an engage here. His chance trying to back away. He's pretty tanky, though, and actually has a stopwatch. Jackie Love has the Gale Force away from the players. Duo is the first casualty. On towards Castle, they go, and LGD have found themselves a turnaround gonna go for the sleep on towards oh it's gonna stop the realm warp that is beautiful the cc cancels knight's ultimate and now jackie love getting chased down colt wants a little bit of revenge and he wants himself a 1k bounty 
series. He goes way too far forward. The rest of the top esports aren't in a position. Like, Jackie Love has gotten, I think, maybe a Put cue if you're hoping to carry this game into situations where you can't get caught out just because otherwise you're going to just sit underneath the tower. You're going to slowly Jackie bleed Love. out rather than just relying on, hey, we got to play through 369 in this top lane. We need to get him ahead so when we hit these team fights, he can be. I want to mention the fact that Joao looks fantastic today. When the rest of the there's no such thing as too aggressive when the scoreline looks like this. We're doing results based analysis Boy, here. Now, what's the answer? Chance coming in from the side as well. 2000, it's already gone. Smite comes out from Casa. And now, on top of that, as a cherry on the cake, they find themselves a pick onto Chance. Uniboy is totally alone. Should be finished off fairly simply by Jackie Love here. As the rest of the squad does get collapsed on Uniboy, has survived in the meantime. Knock up onto Kramer, who's forced out of the fight. Flashes away. Jackie Love trying to chase down this kill as Quay dashes out towards the top side of this one. Knight teleports in, but he's a little too late to the party. And now, top esports can just run it up mid. I mean, this game is over. They have Baron, you've got Dragon, that's our out there, so, but pick on to Koi, oh, just to insult oh, injury. Great. I mean, there's not a lot that you could do about that one. The Dragon, belly. so, for top esports is spawning in three minutes. Top esports just shove in all your waves, keep you underneath your towers, and then they just, the shopkeeper catches them. I swear, it went, oh, I don't have time to talk. I don't have time for anecdotes. 369, I mean, I guess I do, because there's the nothing dive like that. It's an opportunity for Jackie Love to start hammering away on this tower. Looks like this tier two might go down and Jackie Love even happy to tank a couple of tower shots for the effort right here. Mid lane does go down to minions, which is uh, the second tower now for LGD, but top esports I don't think are letting up anytime soon. The siege continues here in the bottom side. Yeah, yeah. Kramer's on, Kramer's in top side. Like they're gonna lose their neighbor terror. I'd like, what? <laughs> What? What? Armor Kramer tending to his crop in the top lane Through here. the crops. <laughs> and I think that this is LGD. This is not like a Kramer mistake. This is LGD making the call that yeah. we cannot defend this inhibitor. Let's just try and get something elsewhere. But it's their best. Oh, they time pulled to the cannon. It. They that pulled the beautiful. cannon to the mid lane. Oh this is so five head from top esports. You give them anything, and they will take everything. They turn a single inhib push that LGD gave them into two. Now a fight comes in, but Casa is tanking everyone up pretty handily right here. Damage coming out from Knight as well as they answer this one. They don't quite get the mid inhib, but now Colt's stunned against the wall as 369 jumps away towards the rest of his squad. He's going to turn into Mininar, but Colt has to flash away from the play. The Feather Storm aggressively, but the Feathers don't quite pull back in time. It turns out he's not ticklish. Life is paying much. Watching this from LGD, like you have a guaranteed team fight as LGD. You all Hextech ultimatum in towards the galley world, and you to four versus five without uh -oh. the tank. No time to explain because oh. the triple <laughs> knock up from Dro knocked into the knock up, the cask into Alistair. That is what I am talking about. That is what a team fight combo looks like right there, Dagda. That's some synergy and a half between Carissa and Dro, but I'm so baffled by LGD. Like, you have a 4 versus 5 and a 3, 6, 9, guaranteed engage, and you just let your base die. Now cults die. Everyone's dying. It's dead. Yeah, it's over. This, is, this is falling apart for LGD. And Colt in absolute shambles. He's 5, 2, and 3. He had magnificent CS for most of the game, but there's just nothing you can do when the rest of the map has fallen apart around your ears like this. Top Esports are well and truly back in form. Is this the toughest opponent in the league? No, but do they look damn good when they're taking this win? You're damn right they do. Padding their stats a little bit as they grab a couple more kills on the Phantom 369 with another questionable ult, but that's okay as the Nexus will fall. And Top Esports take a, a well-earned victory lap on this one. Jackie Love with his 11th kill. And let's, oh, in fact, Kramer manages to dodge it as Top Esports take the 2-0.